enjoy him while he's here, folks, because you never know if this will be the last time we see Nate Diaz in the UFC with a fan base really as big as any fighter in the sport. Diaz is back tonight, and we're glad to see him. Stockton, stand up. <laughs> this guy has a cult following. He is one of the most interesting guys in the UFC because he has this sense that he really doesn't care to be here, but he also doesn't feel as comfortable anywhere but in the octagon. So it's a love-hate relationship with fighting for Nate Diaz. When he's happiest, when he's best, he's fighting in the UFC. A guy that boxes, unbelievable, but I think it's the attitude of Nate Diaz that has made him into one of the biggest stars that we've ever seen in the opera. He had a couple of life-changing paydays against Conor McGregor, the win at UFC 196, the majority decision loss at UFC 202. Which to this day he says he won, right? He thinks he won that fight. But one thing goes without saying, and I'll say it anyway, when Nate Diaz fights, the world is watching, and that is the case yet again here tonight. to a visual you thought you may never see Muhammad Ali taking his act to the octagon and a lot of people out there betting on this man think he's going to realize success here too. Well why would you not expect it right? The guy has done everything he has ever said he was going to do from becoming the Olympic gold medalist to becoming the heavyweight world champion to becoming the greatest boxer the world has ever seen. This guy is a fearless competitor. He has tremendous hand speed unbelievable footwork but it won't be those gifts that allow him to find success in the UFC he's gonna have to mix everything up sort of felt like he had exhausted the boxing world felt like this was the next professional challenge perhaps a case of be careful what you wish for Muhammad Ali gracing the octagon here tonight Muhammad Ali set to fight Nate Diaz Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Nate Diaz! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of Muhammad Ali! One of the best in the business, Herb Good. Dean, is our referee Good. tonight. Good. A black belt in Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, but he's got hands for days as well. Another big spot for Nate Diaz tonight. You know about the mental game. Psychologically, he breaks a lot of guys before they even make this walk. We'll see how his foe approaches the challenge that is Nate Diaz tonight. to the left hand now, unable to connect. Nice combination there from Nate Diaz. We'll see if he can follow it up here, DC. Nate Diaz in the volume, the precision. He's in your face from start to finish. Guy that will overwhelm you if you're long. Just missed with the elbow there. Nice strike. Straight right hand, no good. Get those hands up. 
Clean with the right hook. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, nice jab there by Ali. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Diaz, his nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. <laughs> 10 seconds now in round one. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Horn sound for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn, the round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool, cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight Ready is going. Fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. The right hand just misses. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blow, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not doing too much damage to that cut. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Beautiful left punch there. Just over three minutes to go. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Diaz is blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. The overhand left is true. Oh man, he lands another punch to the head. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Big shot to the head. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Diaz's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Nice job by him defensively there.
20 seconds to go. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he hoped for. What a round. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Muhammad Ali's bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready? You ready? Go Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets up. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Muhammad Ali's a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not. Oh! So now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Come on, let's work. Unable to connect with the right. Great punch. All right, big storyline starting. Oh! Gets up. The question is for how long? Another knockdown. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. There it is. Now he's going to mount. This is a terrible position. He's having his way with him here. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is dead. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Side control now. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Diaz. He's very accurate in the ground and in his show. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Diaz is able to flatten him out. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. Oh, under the chin here. Could be the end. Oh, wow, he got out and mounted. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking whenever he was beat so greatly by that rear naked choke. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. And that's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, there's the end of the round, and what a round it was for him. Two knockdowns there. I'm not sure if the opposite corner is going to throw in the towel, if the doctor's going to come in, but he is hurting for certain. I mean, they've got to look at it, right? They've got to look at their fighter, and sometimes you have to save your fighter from himself. Right. He's always going to get up. He showed that, but he has been outclassed in round number one. He has to either change something or show his coaches that he is going to do something different, or they can't send him back out there. Ready to fight? Ready. Four. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion.
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. What an absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 59 seconds of round number four. Declared the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite at heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency to something that is so volatile. What a champion, what a fighter.